Iranian President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad's presence at the United Nations Conference on Racism was always going to be controversial. The UN Secretary General's appeal to him in advance not to cause upset in Geneva fell on deaf ears. Ahmadinejad's speech prompted a flood of delegates to walk out as he accused Israel of establishing a cruel and repressive racist regime over the Palestinians. <laughs> If they act in the way that they already have after World War II, they resorted to military aggression to make an entire nation homeless under the pretext of Jewish suffering and by taking advantage of the Holocaust. They sent migrants from Europe to the United States and elsewhere to establish a totally racist government in occupied Palestine. In compensation for the dire consequences of racism in Europe, they helped to bring to power the most cruel and repressive racist regime in Palestine. The conference was already in crisis because of a boycott by the United States and some of its key allies. They feared it would become a platform for anti-Israeli criticism. Israel's recalled its ambassador to Switzerland in protest at the Iranian leader's inclusion. Israeli President Shimon Peres is outraged, the more so because the timing coincides with Israel's commemoration of the Holocaust. I feel deeply hurt and ashamed that on such a day there was the opening of a racist conference in Geneva and the main speaker is who? Ahmadinejad the man that called to wipe up Israel out of the map the man who is denying the Holocaust Ahmadinejad's speech brought applause from some of those who remained inside the conference to hear them, jeers from others. The summit was intended to address simmering tensions that could trigger social unrest and violence if ignored. It seems unlikely to achieve that aim.